prepped to install the engine, I was always told there's mixed reviews of whether or not to grease the splines prior to install. Others say do it dry, and the reason for this is if you use too much grease, you don't want to get it on your clutch. You know, as this pushes in, it's going to slide the grease out, and you don't want it slinging. So what I do is I apply some grease, and then I wipe the excess off. There's still going to be a film of grease on there. So you don't want your clutch slipping because you've got grease all over it. Any experts on this, please feel free to comment in the uh, description below. Alright, let's see if the one-man band can get this engine installed. Okay, these are all brand new factory GM bell housing bolts. Alright, I'm going to go tighten all of these bell housing bolts up and torque them. Now we're going to install the aft engine mounts. Now it's time to install the other side. All right, we want to torque the bell housing bolts to 37 foot-pounds. We want to torque the through bolt here to 59 foot-pounds. And we're going to torque these to 48 foot-pounds, the engine mount bolts. I got the torque wrench set right now for 48 foot-pounds. Alright, we are good. I'm going to torque everything else up. You guys know what the torques are now. Now that everything's torqued up, we'll take the sling off. All right, everything's torqued up, so let's take a look at it. Probably can't see real well, but we have all of the bell housing bolts in. We've got the aft engine mount all bolted up. And we have this side all bolted up. So pretty, I'm uh, pretty stoked that the S4D is mounted in place and the engine is uh, all good. You saw how well everything fit as I bolted it in place. I'd say the fabricator did a pretty good job. Next thing we're going to do is install the X-brace on the back cage here. All right, those bolts are in and tight. So now the rear X is on. 
All right, next thing we're going to do is install the gas tank. First, we gotta put the gas tank mount in. We're going to be mounting the gas tank mount in with these bolts here, countersunk with lock nuts on the bottom. These are YFS bolts. Now, uh, YFS bolts are grade 12.9 fasteners and they're classified as the highest class of metric cap screws. So just as an example, a uh, grade 8 fastener is going to have 150,000 PSI tensile strength and a YFS bolt or a 12.9 has a tensile strength of 180,000 PSI. So these are essentially 30,000 PSI stronger than a grade eight. All right, I will get those all torqued up. All right, the gas tank mount or frame is installed and torqued. All right, so I got the gas tank installed and uh, strapped down. We got the radiator mounted in place and I put the wing trunk on. Now I'm getting ready to load it into the trailer and haul it off to California. Okay, so right about now you're probably asking yourself, why is he loading it in the trailer and going to haul it to California? It's certainly not for a test and tune because we're a ways away from that. It just so happens that I have to do a product review and I'm going to do that while I haul this to California. I'm taking it to California because there's somebody there that has to get a lot of work done for me and uh, somebody that comes highly recommended that I believe I can trust and it's worth the drive to take it to them to get this done. It might not be who you think it is, but I kind of been telling you that we have a surprise coming and this is a surprise. However, we're not gonna reveal why we're towing it to California until the next video. So I appreciate you watching. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, think about subscribing Hit the notification bell, be notified when the videos are coming out, and we will see you in the next one.